Welcome back. In between the parts, I went away and got some SP and a bit of leveling up sorted so we could get some more titles, etc, etc. But anyway, we need to head through here and we'll come up against a boss. Obviously. No, I, I mentioned it at the end of the previous part, I think I did. Still getting wet once again. Oh dear, oh dear. Huh? Huh? What the hell? Yes, it's, it's quite a big one. It has loads of swords in it. Maybe we could get a, a nice sword from it. Just have to ask. And could, could we borrow one of the swords? No? Alright then. Okay, let's do this. Guess we'll have to fight it. See how well we do against it. So I'm not talking that much because I'm trying to focus on killing it quite fast. There we go. Hmm, less than 30 seconds. Quite good, quite good, good. A lot of SP from that. Ooh. Ooh, that's lovely, lovely. Elegant Flash Adept. I wasn't expecting something like that here. We'd better be careful. I mean, what else were, were you expecting at this point? Like, was there anything special that you did expect? Like, you weren't expecting something like that, but you were expecting something? I don't see the Fendillians anywhere. Let's stay here and wait for our men to arrive. That was, that was probably what I was waiting for, the Fendillians. It's almost time. Follow me, and let's commence the attack. It didn't have to show all that happening. You could have just cut to it being nighttime straight away. The only one. That monster was horrible. Do you think it was part of Fendel's defenses? No, I don't think so. It's probably lived down here for years. So, it would still be alive if not for us. That's kind of sad. I feel terrible now. Maybe, but it was either us or it. And we have to save Launt. Asbel? There's no time for pity. I'm the only one who can protect Launt now. He's very determined. He's really not the kid he used to be, is he, anymore? He's grown. He's something different. Still got some of the same... What's the best way of putting it? Same, same attitudes, but more refined, more honed, more skilled. As you'd expect from growing up. You know, that sort of thing happens. As someone who has hopefully grown up, I can attest to. There's no one here. What's going on? They knew about our plans. We have a traitor in our midst. Lord Asbel, we've been undone. What happened? My zip, it just came undone. The enemy has staged their own sneak attack. They're advancing on the town as we speak. Ah, well that's good for us in a way, sort of, because some of the troops we left behind. Oh, we didn't leave any behind. Well, that was a stupid idea. What? We must have passed each other in the night. Unless they knew about our plan all along. This is entirely possible. Damn it! We can't stay here. We have to fall back. The town's nearly defenseless. They'll be overrun in no time. I, st I still agree he needed to do something though, so it's like, well, what else could he do, really? Vestiges of war. A hopeless cause. The Fendolian army has already left. Did they somehow catch wind of our plans? 
Asbel, do we really stand a chance? Fendel's weaponry is so advanced. I'll think of a way. I promise. Don't you see it? We could never hope to protect Lot from such a force. Face it, we're so vastly outnumbered. We fight for a hopeless cause. Sharia. Never mind. We need to get moving. Lot is in danger. Damn. I mean, again, it's that sort of thing like, yeah, he screwed up, but he had to do something. It's just kind, kind of unfortunate, or, you know, there's a spy or something in our midst. That informed them of what was going on. It's like, uh, it's just, it's unfortunate. But anyway, we, could, we did get that item, didn't we? That, uh, yes, this. He increases our accuracy. Well, I'd like that on Sophie, actually. Looking at her accuracy, I'd, li I'd like that to go. Also, what I did with the um, mix-up, by the way, was equip this Mastery Tonic C, which, as you can see, could be very useful later on if we keep getting them. 5% production chance. Very nice. Because when I equipped it to it, I took one step and I got one. It's like, well, perfect. I'd like others, please. Oh, I'd hope I could get up there, but no. I'll still avoid the enemies here because... Kinda don't need to face the big blue bear thing, because I've already done that, haven't I? As one of the, one of every enemy. How far back do we have to run? Like, we're nearly there yet. Think I recognize this area? I'm not 100%. Might just be a weird camera angle. I think it's a weird camera angle, because we should be coming upon the, um, Lord Hill soon. No? Oh, it, oh it's this area. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I was further up, wasn't I? Because I went through the seaside cave thingies. Yeah, there should be another skit coming up somewhere down here. Probably the same location we've had previous. I'm sorry, Master Asbel. There were so many of them, we couldn't even slow them down. You couldn't even slow them down? I mean, come on. Surely did something to slow them down. Just a little bit. Maybe trip one of them up. Something. Anything. Could have done nothing to slow them. Hello. Master Asbel, get a lot. Hurry. Now I've got to go over here. There's a skit, mate. Asbel, what are you doing? We need to get to Launt. Wait, Sharia, hear me out. We don't have time. Please. <sighs> okay. Look, the people of Launt are all I have. Uh? I withdrew from the Academy. I won't be joining the Knights. What are you saying? What does that even mean? It's all right. No matter what Fendel brings to bear against us, I'll stake my life to stop them. Just like my dad did. I'll prove to the world that I can protect them. And you. Will you stand with me, Sharia? Will you trust in me? I... I will. But why couldn't you have said that seven years ago? Because he was a kid. He's learned now. He's, he's understood. Well, not completely. He's still a bit oblivious to what Sharia's motives actually are, obviously. It's one of those stories with their romance, because it's clearly going to be a romance, isn't it? from everyone. Hubert became a badass. So maybe it was good for him. Like, Asbel and Hubert have ended up quite good when they got away from their father, you may have noticed. We learned a few things. Hubert seems... stronger, would be the best way of putting it. Okay, 
Gotcha! Oh, oh, Hubert! Hubert! I messed up. We did it, Hubert! Indeed. Indeed. Hubert, it's really you! You came back! Lieutenant, the enemy has been driven out! Lieutenant? Wow, Hubert, you're really going places. Talkative as ever. Good people of Lant, do not be afraid. The men of Strata have driven the Fendelian army from your town. If you are wondering why we have come to your aid, I can provide an answer. I am Hubert Oswell, formerly of the Lant family. I am the youngest son of Lord Aston, who tragically lost his life in your defense. It's Master Hubert! It's Master Hubert! Yeah, but is it really? You've returned to us at last! While I am now a man of strata, I still hold my homeland in the highest regard. When I heard of your desperate plight, I was compelled to come to your aid. And I have further good news to share with you all. Strata and Windor have formed an alliance against the cruel nation of Fendel. Your fight is ours, and we shall work as one to drive our common enemy from this land forever. Hubert, wait! He has grown massively in seven years. The lieutenant has many matters that demand his attention. Okay, Fang. If you desire an audience, please wait until morning. Uh, Hubert. What's up, Sophie? Oh, I see. You're planting the Sophia seed. It's a huge seed. When will it bloom? I, I mean, look at the amount of soil she had to put over it. That's how big it is. It should sprout in a few days and bloom sometime after that. And if you continue to take good care of it, you might even get to see a Blossom Gale. What's that? It happens after they bloom, if the flowers bathe in starlight for a few nights. Or so I hear. I don't really know the details. Anyway, just be patient and take good care of it. Hubert, are you done working today? More or less. Look at you! A lieutenant in the military at such a young age? I... I never thought I'd see you again. Not like this, at least. You saved us, you know. You save Want. We're lucky the town wasn't damaged further. Hmm. I mean, he had a smile on his face. Um, so how long are you staying? We should catch up, you know? I could use your advice on a whole bunch of things. I'll be here for quite a while. Really? That's great. You can help us figure out what the enemy's going to do next. I'll feel a lot better knowing that we're working together. The resemblance is uncanny. Are you sure? I mean, last time you saw her, she wasn't dressed like this, so... Her movements, her body, even her expression. She's like Sophie in every way. I will investigate this matter personally. Whoa, hey, wait. That won't be necessary. I'll decide what to do with her. So, the boy who abandoned his family now thinks to be Lord. Uh, yes? What? Stop it, both of you. We have more important issues to discuss. Meet me in the study when you're ready.
I need to talk to Hubert. Are you okay here? Something tells me Hubert isn't a happy bunny. Oh, seeds of the Sofaria flower, and we gave them up. They're huge. Massive. Sofarias. You can tell by the huge amount of dirt you had to put over the huge seeds. Oh dear, oh dear. Any, any requests that we can do? Good afternoon, Lord Asbel. Would you like to rest? We'll charge the elephant mixer. Thank you very much. Uh, we'd like some, some more service, please. Thank you. Good requests. Oh, a dark battle. We'll have that one. Thank you. What are we doing on the... Oh. Get one sorted then. Did we get that one? Yeah, seems so. Alright, we'll just... We'll just let it do it automatically like, like I planned, right? Let's proceed inwards and speak to Hubert. Good. You're here. Well, it wasn't hard to find. There is an important matter that I neglected to tell the townspeople. As part of the bilateral alliance between our nations, the Stratton military will be permanently stationed in Lant. Not so bad, extra military around. I have been appointed military governor, and will handle all affairs of state from this point forward. Ah. What are you talking about? I wasn't informed of this. It was a term negotiated directly between the governments of Strata and Windor. Let me ask you something. What exactly do you hope to accomplish here? As of now, you're completely dependent upon my military. No lord can rule under such conditions. But... What Lant needs now is power. Strength. This is something I possess. As a commander in Strata's military, I can bring peace and stability to this land. Yes, but Hubert, surely no, you, you know this isn't right. I've spent the last seven years studying and training. I've sacrificed everything to achieve what I've become. I'm not you. I didn't forget my home and my people so I could go gallivanting around the countryside. You think that's what he was doing? You don't know what I went through. You have no idea what it's like to train at the Night Academy. Then perhaps you'd care to show me what you've learned. Nah, you're right. Here is my proposal. If I defeat you in combat, you will leave Lant immediately. If I lose, I will recognize you as the rightful lord. Are you nuts? I'll never agree to that. Then run. Run like you always do. It will prove the last seven years were about nothing more than your own pride. Fine! Let's see if my training was just one big ego trip! I'm glad you've accepted my proposal. When did you draw your blade? But I warn you, I'm not the boy you knew seven years ago. I mean, you are, but you've grown up, but... Alright. Hubert! Right, we are meant to lose this one, by the way. Strike! Not yet! Tiger what? Whether or not Aqua I can bullet. win, we'll see. Okay, fall! Bloodshot! Draw! Fall! We haven't leveled up too much. Because like I said, I am meant to lose this fight. Bloodshot! Burn! Burn! Aqua! Uh oh. Instant ball! Yeah, there's the death. There it is. Hubert, you've grown strong. I almost had him, though. I told you. I'm not the boy you knew. As per our agreement, you will leave Lant. Now. Right now? Hubert, what is this? Asbel left the Knight Academy to take your father's place as the next Lord. I finally get both my sons back, and now they're at each other's throats? Indeed. They are their father's sons. Last I checked, you have only one son. Ouch. What? What are you saying? I 
am an Oswell. Hubert, your father was only thinking of you when... Enough. The two of you abandoned me. And that's the truth of it. Are you, are you talking about... Uh, is Azbel involved in this? Because he had no... No control over this whatsoever. No. Please don't. Don't worry, Lady Carrie. I will not force you to leave as well. <laughs> that's something? All right, Dick. Asbel. Hello. You can't come with me, Sophie. Not this time. Go find Sharia. She'll take care of you. Hey. Quit blubbering and go! Ah, oh, dude, shut the hell up. Sophie, kick his head in. Alright, guess not. Asbel, Hubert, how did this happen? Well, you see, seven years ago, the Lord of Lant decided to put his son up for adoption, stupidly. It's going to rain soon. Let's get inside. Why, the rain is lovely. I'm not weak like I used to be, Grandpa. You don't have to worry. I always worry about you, no matter how healthy you are. Everyone changed. It's all different now. Such is life. You just keep changing with it until you find the right path. When times are trying, you mustn't fear to face them. Grandpa. Oh, young masters. Why did it come to this? Again, one reason. Sophie joined the party. Lovely. Let's get through as quickly as possible, because basically we're meant to return to Barone, I think we are. Now what? That's our objective is, now what? We'll just, we'll just head towards Verona. That's probably the best thing. Plus, where else can we go but back to the Night Academy? It's just like, it really, it really does feel like this is all caused by that stupid father of theirs. If only he hadn't... Gavin? 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 Gavin. Anyway, yeah, so their stupid father of theirs. It's, like, it's entirely his fault this situation has come about. Gavin? Sophie, I'm okay. Really, you should go back. I will protect you. <laughs> that brings me back. You know, this is the place where someone first said that to me. I was so irritated a girl wanted to protect me. I said that I would protect her instead, but I didn't. And now, nothing has changed. I'm completely helpless. I'm a failure. I didn't save anyone then, and I can't save them now. What do you say to that, really?
sorry about earlier. That was kind of embarrassing. It's a good job only Sophie saw it. Do you really want to stay with me, Sophie? Okay. Then I swear to protect you. And this time, I won't fail. Yet yeah, stop throwing around promises. Uh, I feel kind of uh, dizzy. Your head feels hot. Damn it. Not now. Asbel. Uh, uh, oh, 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 water. There's loads outside. It's coming down from the sky. I'll go get some water. Wait here. Did he get punched? Hmm. This hut looks a little suspicious. Shall we look inside? No. Uh, Sophie? Hey, that's the girl that was with him. You can't go in there. <sighs> That's nice from Barona. Asbalant! Hello. Keep your hands off her! The girl is meaningless. We've come for you, Asbalant. Oh, lovely. An, an, an escort, you might say. Who are you people? Stop. Stand aside, or we'll make this hard for you. I will protect him. Sophie, no! Who are these guys? What do they want? I mean, clearly they're from the castle. Asbel, are you hurt? I'll make it. But we need to get out of here. Let's head for the port. Right, so I think this... Dear, oh dear, they are properly out. Yeah, this is a good place to end this part, and in the next part, we'll start further up the road, pretty much just outside the port. That's probably a good place to start, otherwise we're just going to have a road to walk up at the start of the next part. Right, so we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.